Hello and welcome back to this intermediate tutorial for using the DNN CMS. My name is Francesco Iramita and in this video we will go through all the steps you need to create a blog item on your website. Start by logging into your Bond test website and then going to the page where the blog is located. Once here, move down to where the articles are located and press Add Article in the bar above. This will open a form with all the parts of the article. I'll go over them one by one. First is the title field. As its name suggests, this field is for naming the blog article and will be shown above it. The subtitle is not actually used, so this can be skipped. Next are the categories. These are shown above the article to let people know what it will be about. This is a required field and at least one category must always be chosen. After that comes the summary field. This is a large text field that will be shown in the list and should be used to give a short indication as to what the article is about. In the list it is shown here. Then comes the detail field. This is where you will put the entire article. This is the text that is shown after people click on the article. The text field is not used, so this can be skipped. Next, we will need an image to add to the article. This will be shown both in the list as well as on the article page itself. To start, click Add Gallery in the Gallery panel. Then, select an image you would like to use on, from your computer. Don't forget to click Start Upload, as selecting alone isn't enough. It is also possible to add documents, like PDFs, to an article. This works the same as adding an image. This will only be shown in the article itself. I do not recommend using the link field, as it is a lot easier and tidier to add the links in the detailed text itself. The event field will also not be used, so we will skip this. Then we can click the button next to the custom fields to expand it, and allow us to add author information, as well as a picture. When this is done, we have to set the publish and expire dates. You can set the publish date to a later point if you do not wish for people to see the article right away. The expire date will be set to 1000 years from now by default, meaning it will not expire on its own and can always be found by people looking through the articles. However, if you want certain information to not be available after a certain date, it can be set here. It is also possible to select the article as a featured article. This means it will be shown at the top when people enter the blog page. Finally, you can uncheck Publish if you wish to save the article as a draft for now. In the next video, we will talk about how to edit existing articles and how to translate them. We hope to see you then.